हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक अगेन इन द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ पावर रनिंग चैनल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल लुक हैव अ लुक अबाउट के टी ए फिफ्टी इंजिन मेड बाय कमेंस ओके वी विल सी ऑल द इंजिन रिव्यू एंड वॉट आर द फिल्टर्स इंस्टॉल्ड एंड वॉट इज़ द कंट्रोल पैनल एंड वॉट इज़ इन साइड दिस कंट्रोल पैनल I will show you each and everything in today's video. Just you will watch the complete video, so you will understand that. Uh, I will explain you about the filters, all the filters which we are used in this, how many numbers of filters, and also the control panel. And after that, we will run the engine. We will show you the engine. This engine is just now serviced. Uh, it's finished service now. So after that. Uh, we will operate this generators for you so now you see this breaker is off so i will press the on button so the now the breaker is on but the spring is discharged so i will charge the spring okay as you see now i'm charging it this is the way you will charge the motorized breaker okay and this is another engine on this side we have total five numbers of filter these all are for oil filter and these two a uh, here under if you see these are our fuel filter so let let us start and we will explore this engine one by one okay and we will see how it is inside and let me sh and also i will start it so guys let's start the engine So now this engine working on idle mode and now it will be go on for the speed use So guys, we will try now to start this engine. Okay, I am pressing now start button, but engine is not starting. I think there is an alarm. So let me check what is the alarm here. I think yeah, it is showing two alarms on the screen. So first we have to remove this alarm, and after that engine will start. So let me see how to remove this because this controller is new. To so guys let's start the second engine and see the so guys look here now this is discharge breaker if i press the on button it is not turning on so we have to charge this breaker first so now this is the way to charge the breaker now i'm charging the breaker okay to keep it on on position now if you see now it is on so now both the generator is on standby mode so let me show you the control panel okay and uh, then we will see so guys now we are here near the control panel so this panel uh, having analog meters and digital controller so first of all here we have 
analog volt meter from 0 to 500 volt range after that we have here hertz meter and then we have kilo art meter and ampere meter here we have ampere meter selector okay because we are using single meter and this is our dive controller agc3 okay and this is our volt meter selection and this is oil heater switch oil heater selector switch and this is jacket water heater selector switch and this is our temperature gauge okay and this is for silence alarm push button this is for battery charging ampere okay dc battery charging and this is for reset so guys Here let's have, have a yes, look this inside is the panel okay this is our base controller of agc3 uh, the front module which i show you this is only the display and this is the main controller okay and this black cable which you see this is going to display okay and here we have all the connection of this controller in next video i will explain you this is our speed governor okay as you see all the wirings are connected on the speed governor okay and these are the control relays for turning on and off okay here we have our battery charger and these are small relays four pin relay and these are alarm relays here we have circuit breakers and these are the common terminals okay here we connected so after that this is our field winding so this is all going to field winding and here you see on the back side all the thing this is display is connected with the dive agc okay so now you see everything is very clear in this video how we will how the panel is look like of the big generators okay so it is same like small panels everything is same okay so don't worry about it if you have any question you can ask me uh, freely okay so now we will see the filters so here you see this is oil sensor oil pressure sensor is installed here okay mm, there is one switch and one oil pressure sensor okay and the filter is lf3325 this is five pieces of filter installed in this engine okay after that here we have fuel filter fs1006 two pieces okay and here we have our fuel pump this is fuel pump and after that here if you see how the pipes are connected in the uh, exhaust pipes are connected okay so now i will see this black if you see this black color part this is called water jacket heater now we will go another side of the engine and we will see what are the parts are installed here okay so look at here now this is in this engine we have two starter motor and this is the starter coil okay starter solenoid here okay so now you see the engine i am showing you very closely here we have two filter lf777 this is also oil filter and this is wf2075 this is our water filters okay so as i say you in the beginning of the video that i will explain you about the filters so all these filters are here okay now we will show you the air filter here we have our air filter baldwin hsg3082 this is two pieces are installed in this engine let's see the nameplate of our alternator so here we have alternator nameplate okay so i will see i will adjust the flash of my mobile and you see this is nameplate okay and this is the circuit breaker which i show you previously how the it's look like and how it's working okay and this is the settings of breaker from where you will set the nominal and short circuit current pro protection this is the name plate of the circuit breaker this is low voltage a circuit breaker from mitsubishi okay so so friends if you have any question you can ask us okay in the video comment i am sure i will reply you once i will see your so you also like the video and share it with your friends to know more about this okay friends so now you see here this is speed sensor which we say mpu mpu is connected here okay and here this is 
showing here valve adjustment of injectors okay here we have all the settings writing on this sticker okay injector settings are here okay my dear friends so now see the engine parts very closely because i make this video if some of us some of uh, from us if not not see this engine before so he can easily see and watch and this is our temperature sensor switch here one is sensor and one is switch okay as you see it is fixed i try to show you the part number okay there is one is three three pin and other one is single wire okay so i want to show you look at this this is heating now because the engine block is hot okay and uh, the part number is not coming okay my dear friend so let's see the engine name plate here we have kta 50 g3 okay this is the serial number of the engine okay as you see this is cummins and the name plate is located here near the fan okay near the radiator fan and this is the belt inside as you see so guys this is very important video if you will see this is regulator okay this is solenoid okay and this is the speed regulator behind the fuel pump okay if you want to change it and this is the fuel line one is supply and one is return with non return valve installed okay so this video i hope you like it and it will be very helpful for you as you see here this is also temperature sensor we are using here three this is sorry oil sensor so this is all from here we will fill the oil okay and dipstick near the filter so guys thank you for watching the video stay connected have a nice day bye bye